My name is Marianne Akinyi Nongo. I am 32 years of age. I am a professional Kenyan actor, female actor. Uh, my name is Nyawara Ndambia. I'm 23 years old. And um, I play the role of Mwix in Supermodel. I've been in the industry for four years now. I've done both theater and stage. And uh, my experience on Supermodel was a lot of fun, to be honest, because it was my, I've done film, feature films before, but it was one of the biggest productions I've ever been involved in. So um, they took us out of Nairobi and took us to a town that we were filming in. And we stayed there for like a month with the entire cast and crew. So that was really fun because we got to bond a lot and hang out. So that was really, really fun. Yeah, <laughs> that was my experience in a nutshell. A lot of fun. Hello, my name is Johnson Fischege. I play the role of Mike in the movie Supermodel. Is a Kenyan film. I am a Kenyan actor uh, who has been in the industry for almost 12 years now. So I can say that I am experienced in the Kenyan field and I am happy to be at the JCC Carthage Film Festival. My experience in Supermodel was um, I played a character called Catherine. Catherine is um, a mother a mother to this ailing child, a mother with two kids, a single mother, actually not a single mother, but a widow, yeah, because she's raising her child alone. She's a midwife in the story. Um, the community depends on her to raise, not raise, but give birth to their children. She is well respected. She is more or less a very powerful woman in that community, yeah. Supermodo. Supermodo is a film about community, a film about people coming together to push a dream of a, of a girl. It's amazing how the people can have power to push a dream. It's amazing how in the film you realize that we have a uh, small girl called Jo, who's Joanna, and uh, Jo is terminally ill. Is, uh, she's having two months left for her to live, and she'll die because she has cancer. Uh, when we came for the JCC, we were very surprised that it, it has been here for, since 1960 or something, I heard. Yeah, so we were very surprised first of all, but I really liked the reception because um, what I got to feel was like in Tunisia, there's this culture of respecting women because even when we got here, we were received by a bouquet of flowers. It was very nice. So uh, when we got here, the reception, just the whole planning, we were like, this is such a big deal. How come we've never heard of it? So, but the experience has been, wow. It's just been amazing. My experience at JCC, being my first time in Tunisia, Tunis, and being my first time to hear about JCC was just something that I'll say, so far, I, in a scale of one to 10, I'll give it 11. It's just amazing. Very first time hearing about the JCC Film Festival. But then most Africans don't know about it. Or if some Africans know about it, it's probably the French-speaking countries that know about it. Because to me, to us, it felt like um, the Oscars of Africa. I mean, we see MVC, African, um, African Magic Viewers' Choice Awards in Nigeria. It's big, it's grand, but it does not come close to what I've seen at the JCC. When JCC happens, the rest of the world, the rest of Africa should know that JCC is happening because it's not a small time affair. It is big. It is very, very big. Personally, I felt like <gasps> when we went to the red carpet, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Paparazzi everywhere. People, people who are not even part of the festival directly, but who want to be the audiences or guys we saw outside 
were there in numbers, late hours, but they were still there. We come out, we still find people out there celebrating. We're like, they're still here? So far, so good. So far, I'm in love. I'm in love. <laughs> I'm in love with Tunisia and GCC.